Some classic cars are charred tonight after fire burns the place where they were waiting to be restored. And as Christian Hauser found out, someone's to blame. These cars are more than just historic Packard automobiles to Daniel Badger. He runs America's Packard Museum in downtown Dayton. He says he got a call last night about the fire. It was just a, a real kick in the gut. You know, we, we don't have room in our downtown facility to house all of our collection. And so quite a bit of the collection that is uh, some not exhibit worthy uh, ends up down here. Take a look at what they found when they got to their warehouse in Harrison Township. Five fire departments showed up trying to put out the flames. Two buildings were destroyed. Today, Badger and several volunteers worked to get the cars that could be salvaged out of the warehouse and into a safe location. Some of the cars and, and artifacts that we keep down here are just really irreplaceable, one-of-a-kind uh, items, and we're just heartbroken at, at, at what we've lost. Right now, fire officials are only saying the fire was caused by a person, but they don't know if it was an accident or set on purpose. People in the area we talk with say they saw people going into the building. The state fire marshal's office says the damage could top $1 million, but Badger says right now they just don't know. You know there's so many cars here that are really hard to put a dollar figure on. Uh, it'll, be, it'll probably be a, a month or two before we have a good handle on really what it was that we've lost and what's salvageable. Reporting in Harrison Township, Christian Hauser, Fox 45 News on ABC. Fire Marshal's office says the building was not secured and anybody could have gotten inside. If you saw something, call the state fire marshal's tip line. That number is 800-589-2728.